Hello and welcome to Rogue Legacy. I am Running Robert and we're going to be going over a little bit of gameplay for this today. Uh, this game is really fun, released about two years ago by Cellar Door Games. Um, this was their first release and it was just two guys who were working on it together. One full-time, one part-time, with good story. Um, and they made this uh, gigantic hit. Um, a lot of people have kind of compared this to like a Ghost and Goblin as far as difficulty and stuff like that. The game is really fun. I've logged about 100 plus hours on it, so I've gone through a lot of what we need to do for it. Um, so I hope you like this. We're going to go over the tutorial a little bit and just a little bit of gameplay just so you guys can kind of get an idea. Is this something that you're going to be like, uh, that you'll like? So um, if you like this video, please like it. Like it on Steam if you see it on the review there and subscribe to my channel. I do a variety of games from indie to some small strategy just a lot of fun stuff in general i just like to play what i like to play um i try to generally stay away from the triple a's or i won't do them here but i'm trying to find the, the the gems that people don't know about so what we're going to do here is we're going to start a new legacy obviously lady may made it to 245 another character i was just playing around with so here's the story so my duties are to my family But I'm loyal to only to myself. Uh -huh. So you can see my character down below. Um, the keys are pretty simple. It's just right and left and space for jump. D does attack, which destroys what you have. So space for jump. Okay. Like I said, just kind of going through slow. Hold space, jump higher. Oh, there you go. That's a nice jump. So I definitely like these tutorials where they get, give you a chance to kind of like play the game a little bit and figure it out. So D to attack, which is already kind of figured out. So we got space and D. Oh, my first enemy. Gotta watch out for him. Okay. So I can actually, oh, and then hold space plus tap to drop ledges. Okay, so that's over here, so. So what the game is, it's you're gonna see pretty much every time you go in, it's gonna be a new experience. So hold down, so there you go. Hold down tap, so that gives me a little bit of jump. I can make it again. So it is a procedurally generated dungeon. So like I said, every time it's going to be slightly different. Not a little food. So like I said, a lot of the stuff that you see here is destroyable. So very nice on that part of it. And okay, we're in a throne room. And the king. And yep. Assassination. That is the start of the game. So we are going to start off with this guy. And this is kind of like the manor screen. This is kind of where you start. Um, as you continue to get farther in the game, you will have a chance to um, build it up and get more stuff and more people will come and everything like that. But we're going to start to build our first level. So to go over something right now, I am uh, level zero. This is a teleport. We're not going to have to worry about that now. Uh, the door to open to the final bosses. So there's four bosses we have to beat. Everywhere you go, you'll see these books. And the books will lay out the story to you. So obviously journal entry one. So treason and assassination has wounded my father the king. To bring order to the kingdom, he has sent his siblings on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and into the castle. Hampson. The cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time. Yeah. But rumors say that it, with Drowsy can cure Amy. Tonight I will get a head start of my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest. Today would be an embarrassment to my name. Okay, so. And all these books pretty much will give you a story of what is going on with this. So. Oops, that's my first enemy that you see here. So we're going to hit him. Oh. So. Come on, you. Get over here. There you go. 
Okay, so that's pretty simple. So pretty much what happens is the game, like I said, it levels up in difficulty. I think I have another painting monster. Let me get rid of this first. It levels up in difficulty as you level up. So it always gives you a challenge. So, like I said, right now, like I said, pretty easy. Oof. You know what? I am not going to go in that room. <laughs> we like this room here. We have a mini-map that can kind of tell you where you're going. Whoop. Oh, I'm going to kind of run away from there. And like I said, we're just going to go and exploring it. What we're trying to do is get as much money per run. And you can see that at the top left, you have my level, my health, my mana, and then the money. So what we're trying to do, ooh, and this guy is not a one-hit kill, is trying to get as much money as possible per run. That money will help us get new people. Okay, so we got a little trap going on here, but we see a chest. I like chest. We're going to try it. Oh, oh, no. Oof. Now well, that did not work out, like I said. That. Oof. Whatever that is, it's tough. Okay. So we cannot get that chest, but we're getting some gold. Oh, we have a fire mage here that is a little bit tougher it, you know like i said as you get stronger the game becomes a little easier but there are several levels to it okay that's a normal painting let's see get up here so like i said it keeps the difficulty level really nice nope that painting is not moving okay we're back to this room unfortunately let's see what we can do here so we see you got a little bit of a trap I'm not going to make that second hit. I don't think I'm quick enough to do it yet. So this might be the end of the first game. Oh, and I made it. Okay. We're back. Let's see. We only got 160 gold at the moment. So we're really not doing so well with the money. But let's see. Let's go back into this room. Okay. So we can at least get something. Oh. Got to watch out for the mage and the super. Oh. Ah, and you die. And you will die a lot. So it will give me all the enemies I've killed, which is pretty good. And then I will choose my hero air again. So this is uh, the first guy you start off with, the legendary knight. And then you have Sir Lee, the stout knight. So now you get to choose your next character. So it gives you three choices. And there's a lot of things that you can see here. So we're going to just kind of start. You have a mage. So it's a powerful spellcaster. Each kill gives you mana. Um, but you have traits and some of them are good some of them are bad this one you attacks knock you back further and must clear house break stuff to restore and uh mana since it's flying in the air so i can actually have a spell with this person okay i have uh a knight your standard hero pretty good at everything at glaucoma it's so dark uh so you must clear stuff to break okay and then uh i have a risky hero low stats but can land devastatingly critical strikes Colorblind, you can't see due to... We're going to go this one just because you can kind of see what you have here. So, ah, yeah, so I got the money. Each turn I'll be able to kind of purchase something so I can unlock a smithy to begin with. So the blacksmith gives you equipment. And then I can also um, man up or heart up. Now, go ahead and I'll get... Uh, let's see. Oh, I can get an upgraded knight. I need more gold. You can't take your money with you. And as you get traits everything will go up so we're good for the moment but now you see i am in uh black and white here so welcome memory can help me used to be the greatest blacksmith in all land but one day the monsters of this castle attack me and they stole without the blueprints i can only make stuff all right so he pretty much says hey i can only make so much but everything like i said it gives me uh more equipment so i can get all the basic equipment right now cost money which i don't have so what do you have to do let's go get some money so here's the enter into the castle he says one must pay the toll and i have to give him all my money to pay the toll so pretty much it means that you can't take what you get so the second character we're in a little black and white form Ooh, now nah, there's a hundred gold that's going to help me get some of that armor So yeah, definitely it's a game where you just try to break as much as possible. Oh. Okay, 
gotta watch out for these guys. There we go. All right, so actually doing pretty well to start. Food for recovery, which we don't really need. Okay, let's see if we can. Ah, oh, I got him. Ooh, 260. So that gives me. There we go. I like this. I'm getting the money, all the money I need. Yeah, and like I said, at first, some of the enemies are easier to block. As you play longer, whoop, you, you'll figure out, like, what enemy you're fighting and how to fight them. So, like I said, at the moment, pretty easy. Okay, so, we get to this level here. So... This is kind of one of the areas that will lead you... So this is a teleport. This will bring me anywhere. When you find this area, this goes to another area. That area is a super tough area. And as you kind of move on... Well, didn't show up. It'll kind of get you harder difficulty. So right now you're in the castle. You move to the forest. And then the dungeon. And then uh, this. So at the moment we're not. We are way too weak. But we can use this to say, hey, I need to... Go back to the beginning. This will bring me back to the main area now, and I can say, hey, okay, I've explored that area. We're good. So we can now maybe go down. Let's see what we got. Oh, so we got a bone thrower. And a major something down there that's throwing stuff. There we go. So I'm doing pretty well with the money at the moment. Like I said, I want to break everything I can. Oh, let's see. So we're up. Oh, if you remember this little trick there, we can go up, up. Oh, and I actually took my first damage here. And, you're, and at the moment you're saying, hey, this is pretty easy. Like I said, you're running through this without much of a problem. If you're really great, I am not going to try to clear that. <laughs> if you're good at these kind of games, you, you will have a good time. Now here you have some fairy chess kind of things going on. If you can go ahead and take no damage up to this point, you can do it. Oh, that did not work. So, as you kind of go through a lot of the skills, you'll figure out which ones that you are... Oh man, I'm just not very good at clearing that spike trap. There are other skills that help get you better. Okay, up. Oh. And what we have is we have another book. So journal entry number two. Although I'm the eldest child, I'm not my father's favorite. I always know he knew, known, he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find a cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city. We were once again treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and pretty slanders of my cousins. The other duke shall bow as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my parties clear. Conquer the castle. Find the cure. Collect my reward. Okay. So like I said, a little bit more on the story. You see the little question mark kind of gives us what we are looking for. Okay. We got something down there. Oh, see, and you can kind of see the painting. There we go. A little bit of money. Oh, and he got me. And that is the end of Lady Faye. So she did some stuff. Uh, it was good. So now we need to pick our next one. <laughs> so we have another knave. Um, it's Lady Sonia this time. She doesn't have any traits. She can do some damage like the other ones, but nothing more. We have a uh, Sir Charles, the powerful spellcaster. Every kill gives you mana. Uh, the trait is EHS. Your conduct, your conduct, you conduct electricity really well, but you're short. This is a great character. Um, like I said, the conduct is means that anything that you need to hit to open opens up. It's kind of nice. And then you have the barbarian, a walking take. The hero can take a beating. The bald and the beautiful, so he is bald, though you cannot see it under the trait. We're just gonna show you um, the dwarf. And listen, we know we got money that time. Now we're going to go ahead and unlock the knight. This will get me a better character later on. 
So promote your knights into paladins to rigorous training upon to learn to block blows from directions. They give you a little treat, a little more. You can do equipment, weight, and stuff like that. But right now, like I said, I am tiny. But now I can actually say, hey, I need to buy a sword. So I can buy the squire sword. And I equip it, which is the E, which means now I do more damage than before. So if I unequip it, which I can't because there's only one up, oh, yeah, I can. So I can only do 12 damage. And I go up to 16. You can only carry so much weight when you begin with. Now, if I go back here, still, still, say I still have 100 gold. I can come back here and say, well, you know what? I need a little, I need to be able to carry more equipment at some point. As I do that, it opens up new parts of the castle. I can uh, unlock the Enchantress and the Architect. They both do uh, things that you'll find out. But I think you guys have gotten a good fitting of this game. Like I said, you'll continue on when I go back into the castle this time. The castle will be completely different than it was before. So every game is going to be slightly different. There are characters that you can make so that you can play the same one, but it's going to cost you money. Money is what you need to achieve what you're, getting, what you're doing. So I hope you guys like this uh, uh, little playthrough I've done. So if you have, please, hey, subscribe to my channel. I'll have some, a subscription probably up top and another video which will have a similar type game. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.